What is up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode on the Lego My Stego series. As you see here, we're in a little bit of a PvP battle with Axie. I think it was three tribes at the time. Basically, someone called out PvP on this rag at Desert Crack. So there's quite a bit of people here. As you'll see here, though, a little body's trickling down there. And at first, I didn't realize, but basically, that guy had DC'd. This is actually a totally different try with this mana. If you're wondering why we're on a Giga and a Thay, basically both of them are naked as they both lost their kid already, so they're just kind of sitting on Thames. As you see here though, I did finally recognize it and this guy did come back. I saw him just in time. He tried to hide in this corner here and whistle his lightning wyvern. And of course I lag, but of course I always get him. He's actually pretty decent with the Fabby here. This mana guy tries to protect him. I don't know what my man on the theory was doing. He was missing every shot. But eventually he does kill him. But then he gets picked. Thankfully though, I was able to get on the theory and get out with all the loot. Oh, getting absolutely dogged on by literally everything. Lightning Wyvern was trying to get me as well. Kinda got lucky there with that pick. Giga protects me and I do eventually get out. And here we go. This old head had fell for my evil trick. This guy had basically been getting pretty big with his tribe and we wanted to raid them. However, they were always on and it'd be pretty pain in the ass to raid them with a Quetzal. So that would be the only way we could. However, a little bit of tame snipe made them quit. And as you see here, I asked who from him saying see y'all service full of pussies and then he said you I'm quitting because of you and then I hit him with the who asked and after that I knew he was gone. Don't ever fall for my tricks. And he actually did quit. He literally quit because I tame sniped him so much which is kind of ironic because he tame sniped me quite a bit. But as you see here, get on my good old stego, weaving and bobbing, and your boy barely makes it, helmet breaks off. I'm still getting shot by the way, somehow surviving. Just trying to get through here. My poor, poor stego. Taking all these bullets. I finally get a hole and I see the generator, but for some reason my rocket doesn't want to work. It just immediately gets shot, which kind of makes sense as I'm getting absolutely lasered by rock, by turrets. I wanted to hop off. I wanted to break in. I tried to get in. And as you see here, my Stego's health is trickling down. I finally get in. And I actually think I was about to get it but the rocket somehow blew up and then I died. However, after that, my boy Dino comes in with his first ever snow owl bomb. He always wanted to do this and I knew this was a perfect opportunity for him as the whole base was exposed and all he had to do was get in there. We healed up our owl. I said, you know what? I trust you that much that we're not even going in with full health. My boy tucked to the skies like Buzz Lightyear. And all you see, the little white speck go in there, get lit up, and eventually break it. And we were in. I don't know what the hell this build was, by the way. Like, deadass, my man was in Egyptian time making a whole ass pyramid slash triangle thing. I don't know what the hell it was, but it made soaking pretty easily. And here we go with the base loot, which was absolutely nothing. So it wasn't even that worth it, but it was definitely funny. After that, we were PvPing a bunch of kids on a rag. And there's these two guys that pocket giga us. We killed their wyvern, so they're on foot. And as you see here, it's kind of embarrassing for us. 
This wild trophy actually fucked us up quite a bit. As you see here, these guys are on ground. We're just trying to griffin fight them. I don't know what else to do, to be honest. We could have got on ground and PvP'd them there. And then, as you see on the right there, my buddy on the griffin actually landed, and look what happened. It fucking died. But they did actually bolo that dude, so I came back, and they were struggling to kill him somehow. Two of them, by the way. I was getting a little bit unlucky with the hits, but finally, I do kill him. Of course, I kill him too. It's kind of embarrassing, but whatever. Then I know y'all want to see some cheating action. I haven't ran into much cheaters on this cluster. It was kind of funny. But as you see here, I'm running away from this kid, and I've actually been running all the way since desert. And he somehow caught up with me this whole time, which doesn't make sense. He had some type of speed boost on. As you see here, he is stupid as fuck. But listen to the shotgun. Compared to mine, he is shooting way faster. And the reload speed as well. It was definitely sus. And then I get on my griffin and watch this insane aim. You can't tell me that's not cheating. But whatever, I got away, killed his wyvern, and then eventually get him banned, but whatever. And then a little sneak peek of the base there. Nothing much, obviously. It's never anything good. But I do actually get picked here, and I got flung off. These guys had pulled up to our base for some PvP, and I was, of course, the only one on. Brought out my griffin here. These guys were on a PT and a wyvern. The wyvern was actually pretty sus as well. His turning radius might have been an insta turn, but who do I know? As you see there, my rhino also flies off as I threw it out for some reason. Picked the PT guy pretty easily. Try to do a zigzag tactic to bring them turrets. He does end up going right into them anyways with the grapple here I was just trying to get this wire and attention off the PT I ended up bringing out my bolas making a pretty good bolo here did pick him here as well thought I could fling him in here I don't actually know where he went but I went for the PT decided to try and kill it real quick he ended up zing me here The other guy actually got on the wyvern, so it was back to a 2v1. The guy wasn't really good at picking, to be honest. I don't know what I was trying to do with this guy on the ground here. I kind of want to find him, but of course I'm on the Xbox, so the amount of brightness I have is very limited. Here I picked the Wyvern Kid. And this time made sure he flung right into turrets as you see there he got lit up got his kit and the other kids kit as well harvested to make sure they couldn't grapple and this guy in the wyvern did not end up just running away after that so we had found these guys raiding and decided to try and counter them or just pp him a little bit as you see here they have a quetzal and a stego there's a base above and they had a little bit of a fob
got this man shotgun. Griffin, I don't even mind crowing my Giga here. I don't actually know where they were at this point, and I finally saw them. The lightning wyvern was really bloody, and that's when we found out it was only one hit. With that though, my buddy got a lucky hit, and then of course I picked him, and I'm pretty sure I ground meshed him here, because after this I had no idea where he was, and as you see there, the other guy kind of just dipped. I saw him, but apparently the other guy came down here, I don't know, I thought he ground meshed him, but the lag spike kind of ruined me, and after that we couldn't find him. But well, that's going to have to end it for this episode. Here's a little mini base tour. I know it's shit, but who cares? But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.